Welcome to my hobby table. These are the objective tokens I use for a kill team. And they're boring. So we're gonna raid some sprues. So there's some Necron, Death Watch. And now we're gonna get some Death Guard. And some Adeptus Astartes. And actually Tau before we're done, but I don't have that sprue on me right now. And we're gonna clip out some stuff and we're gonna build some cool looking objectives. Let's go ahead and start with Death Watch, and we're going to pull these sprues out, and we're going to look for some bits that would be cool and objectives. Let's get these out of the way and see what we can come up with. So I like the looks of the Storm Shield, so let's go ahead and clip that out. There we go, Storm Shield. And then let's see on this other sprue. I think we're gonna go ahead and grab a thunder hammer. Yeah, there we go. So we're gonna clip that guy out. And I have some bits from earlier, like this is the head of a power mall that I cut off. And here is a power sword that I did some practice on. So we'll go ahead and take those and use them too. All right, so we're gonna grab a file to clean these up and also a hobby knife to cut off some of the screw bits. And so we'll pick off some screw bits and then we'll file them down so they're a little flat and they won't catch when I'm dry brushing or pop out of primer or anything like that. Alright, so we're gonna put the cap on safety first and grab a file and just get down a little bit deeper I think these are p3 files. I got they're lead so don't lick them and uh, It was pretty useful and we're just gonna kind of flatten everything out before we start figuring out how we're gonna stick it on the base So I think we're gonna do kind of like almost maybe a memorial or something sticking out of the snow. So we're gonna cut this guy down. And yeah, that looks pretty good. And I'm gonna grab some poster putty and just kind of give it something for the shield to lean on while the glue is drying. There we go. And now I'm gonna drop that and then I'm gonna get some plastic glue. And this is going to take a while to dry, but when it does, it has a very strong bond. So we're gonna use that sticky tack to kind of hold it up. And we're gonna stick that down on there. And that should stay for a while, sticky tack. And now let's see about kind of putting the other bits around in the front there. I think we're only gonna use the head of the mall here and we'll save the haft for another objective that I have an idea for later. So we'll file that down and use the plastic glue and stick it in front of the shield. So we're going to take this bit of power sword that I was practicing on before I put it on my black shield. We're going to cut the arm off and then we're going to kind of have it leaning across the head of the thunder hammer, I think. Uh, it kept falling off because I'm a noob. And so after I put the plastic glue on, I went and got some tweezers and used that to lean it across the head in such a way that it'll stay. And I like how that looks and I think I'll go ahead and not use the power mall and we'll kind of clean up a little bit put this aside and start working on the next objective token. So I'm still pretty new to this whole painting thing and I haven't got to the point where I want to do faces yet, but I think I can take these leftover faces from my death watch sprue and do an interesting frozen faces in the ice kind of base. So we're gonna go ahead and clip these guys out. I'm gonna drop one and have to go hunting for it. And we're gonna clip out most of the guys that are on here and then decide which ones we wanna use. Mm -hmm. 
and here we go bunch of faces so i'm going to go ahead and grab vallejo earth texture and we're going to put this down but we're not going to use it as an earth texture but i'm going to turn it into an interesting ice effect that I did when I painted my Blood Rage game. And I think it'll look pretty cool. And I am a noob and did most of it off camera, but uh, here you go. And I'm gonna do another one of these so you'll be able to see me put it on. This is a really great product. It's pretty tacky um, and it's easy to mess with, but it dries really hard. So we'll be able to stick these faces in it. And when it dries, they'll be held in place and we won't actually need to use glue for that. So I'm gonna clean up a little bit and then I'm gonna take the faces and start sticking them in, sticking them around in a way that will look hopefully kind of cool when I'm done. I think that looks pretty good and I want to make sure I leave room to be able to do the ice effect around the faces so we'll go ahead and we'll leave it that way okay we'll go ahead and set the death watch objective aside we'll get started another one I want to do another ice effect and this time we're going to use mud texture but we're gonna stick in some bits from the adeptist Astartes tactical marine sprue So here's just the chest piece, and we're gonna stick that in there. And then I'm gonna look at the sprue, and I think we're gonna grab one of these bolters. So we'll go ahead and clip that off. And then let's see, maybe one more bit. Uh, we'll go ahead and use these marks, uh, one of these Mark VI helmets. Cause I don't really like how they look on Space Marines, but maybe it'll be cool here. So we'll just kind of stick them in there and around until we get something that seems kind of interesting. All right, I think we'll go with that. And remember, we're gonna put some ice around that to look neat. All right, so one more for the day. I'm gonna take this haft and cut this hand out because I have an idea for what I wanna do for the Death Guard sprue. So we're gonna chip that off and try to glue the two bits back together with plastic glue and see how all that goes. So I'm not really used to this modding stuff, and of course, so my cuts and my sands, they're not gonna go together even, but it's gonna be close enough, and I think we're gonna be able to work with it. It took me a few tries to get it kind of as straight as possible, but uh, we're just mashing stuff together, and it's gonna have snow around, so I think it should be fine, even if it's not perfectly straight. So I think that's gonna be good. We're gonna set that aside to dry and grab our Death Guard sprue, and I'm gonna be looking for my Icon of Despair, or it's like, I think it's the Icon of Despair. It's Chaos Icon of Nurgle. So the plan is we're gonna cut this guy out and we're gonna kind of mount it on that half like someone stuck it into the snow and they're like claiming this planet for Nurgle. Um, but that's all I had time for today. So we're gonna go ahead and finish that tomorrow. And if you come back tomorrow, we'll finish that objective token and we'll build a couple more and maybe get to start painting. Have a good one.